What's up guys, Mass Lego Films here and Clone Army Customs, in my opinion, is the best Lego Star Wars custom brand out there. And if you're looking to buy custom clones, I think Clone Army Customs is the way to go. And as you can see, I have quite a collection. It's not as big as some other people's collections, but I'm proud of my collection. I'm looking to grow it in the next year within the next year and the next and the next just getting all the figures that that I want but this is my collection as of 2021 and today I will be showing you everything that I have in my collection from accessories to helmets to full figures all that so let's Starting get into here it. with backpacks for all of my bad batch members as you can see we have one for crosshair hunter tech and echo we also got a nice waist cape for echo because he does not come one in the bad batch shuttle come with one in the bad batch shuttle set so i think that that is pretty cool anyway, moving on here we have the figures that have accessories and helmets but the body and legs are all actual lego so at first here we have my little custom ARC Trooper made from a clone trooper from the 501st Battle Pack. He comes with one of these nice ARC Trooper helmets, a nice Clone Army Customs backpack, a nice waist cape as well, and a little shoulder pauldron. And then here we have Captain Keeley. He, of course, comes with the Captain Keeley helmet as well as a pauldron and a waist cape. So, anyway, cool. speaking of Genosis Troopers, here we have my full Genosis Trooper collection. We have one phase one Fox helmet and then two, I believe, Jack helmets. I think that's what it's called. I'm not really sure, but these are all just regular Lego with phase one helmets. I think that that's anyway, here we have all the figures from the 501st Battle Packs with their helmets. We have a Phase 1 501st Jet Trooper helmet, two Clone Wars Phase 1 501st helmets, as well as an ARC, I mean an ARF Trooper Boomer helmet. So, pretty anyway, cool. Anyway, here we have the rest of the figures that just have helmets that are actual LEGO figures, but I just bought extra helmets for them. We have the Scout Trooper, which I turned into an ATRT driver from Revenge of the Sith. We also have this guy, which I call Commander Ben. He is basically a custom painted clone trooper, and I bought him a Commander Phil helmet, which is pretty cool, a Phase 2 one. We also got a regular 212th Clone Wars Phase 1 helmet for the Airborne Trooper that came in the General Grievous Starfighter, as well as a phase one plane phase two helmet for the phase one trooper as well as a i believe this is matchstick a phase two helmet for the clone gunner i got a matchstick helmet for him so he can double as a clone anyway I right here in front of you is my first ever clone army customs purchase and i bought the squad pack devis i did buy tons of accessories for these figures like for the jet trooper i bought an arc antenna for the two regular devis troopers i bought sun visors and also for this one i wanted to make him kind of like an arc trooper and so i got him a arc backpack which is pretty cool i also got Phase 1 helmets for all of them, so let me put them on right now. Here they are in their Phase 1 appearances. So, we got a Phase 1 Shock Trooper helmet for the Jet Trooper. Two just regular Phase 1 helmets for the two regular Troopers. As well as a green helmet, or I think this is like a Phase 1 Commander Gree helmet or something like that for the... Actually, I believe this is the Sergeant Devis figure. I think that's what 
that's what it's called so anyway moving cool. on here to our next figure this was not only the first ever clone army customs haul that i did on the channel but also it was the first channel logo that i made of course my first one was a regular phase 2 captain rex but the first one that i actually made myself was the one with arc renegade and so that's pretty cool i also did get a phase 2 Which helmet one? looks like this okay, moving on to our first of four clone commanders that i own from clone army customs the first one is captain rex he is my favorite character in all of Star Wars, in all of Clone Wars. He is probably my favorite figure also out of all of these. And I just really, really like this figure. This is, of course, the first figure that I got with the brand new wraparound printing for the legs as well as the body. And this is when Clone Army Customs just started to get amazingly detailed. I don't think you can get more detailed than this. And he looks I really also cool. did get a Phase 1 helmet for him so that I could have both a Phase 1 Rex and a Phase 2 Rex. As I do with all of these Wait, the next Clone Commander that we got is Wolf. I think he looks really cool. I certainly do like this figure. This is Dave Filoni's favorite character, if you didn't know that. And he looks really cool. This comes, this is the first time I have ever got the new RP2 or Realistic Phase 2 helmet from Clone Army Customs. This one is the Recon helmet. And I think it looks really cool. This is actually something funny because they didn't come with the Rex pistols that I ordered for him, but I just didn't really care about that. I just gave him one of these extra blasters that I have, and I think he looks really as cool. As per usual, I had to get a Phase 1 helmet for him. Anyway, as well. moving on to my most recent Clone Army Customs haul, we have Commander Fox. This figure is certainly my least favorite clone trooper in universe, but... I think he looks amazing. I think Clone Army Customs did him very, very well. I did not get a Phase 1 helmet for him because Clone Army Customs does not make a regular Phase 1 Fox helmet. So I think that that's pretty weird, but he looks really cool in his Phase 2 appearance. And finally, probably the figure that I was most excited to get we have Commander Cody. This is Commander Cody in his Phase 1 appearance. So this is not Phase 2 Cody. But as you guys can see in the background there, we did get a Phase 2 helmet for him. So let's Here put it he on. he is with his Phase 2 helmet. And I think he looks really, really cool. Phase 2 Cody has been desired by so many people. And Lego just doesn't bother to make him. And I would not bother waiting for a Lego to make one. So I just decided to buy this Clone Army Customs one. And I do not regret it. I also did get an extra one of these sun visors. Because they do tend to break. So I think that's why they included an extra one. Or that's just a mistake that they made. I really don't know. But Commander Cody looks Anyway really guys, that is it for today's video. Overall... I really do like my army that I have here, and I'm looking to grow it in 2022. But, yeah, let me know what you think of this army down in the comments below. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I do tons of LEGO Star Wars content, LEGO content, also just regular Star Wars content, and more. So, subscribe. Also, leave a like if you enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.